what prevents us all from killing you and taking what we want. It's so nice to talk to actors once a show is already debuted. So then I can tell you, like along with the fans, how much we're all loving this show. And I'm gonna quote Robert Rodriguez. He said about the two of you, Tem knows that this is his moment. ming Nan knows that this is her moment. When you get actors like that on set, they go for it and it's palpable. So I wanna hear from both of you, how palpable that energy was for each of you. I mean, we, I mean, Tem, you've had such a long history with this franchise and this is finally his moment. And I know ming Na, what a huge Disney fan and Star Wars fan you are. Yeah. Well, we don't take just, anything for granted yeah. at all. I mean, every day on set, we know how hard the crew has been working, especially during COVID protocols. We know that this is our moment, you know, and you can't squander that. You, we've worked, both of us have worked so hard and for so long in our craft and in our careers that uh, it, it was great. You know, it's almost like Boba Fett and Fennec. You know, we, we come into it with mutual respect, absolute love for the project and uh, and a desire to to make it the best that it can be. Well, it was just one of those things that, you know, crescendoed into this wonderful partnership, not only just the two of us, but getting to work yeah, with really Robert, uh, John and Dave Filoni. Yeah. And, the, and the big thing was, I think it was just meant to be, just the paths sometimes in life, if you just read the signs and sometimes things come up and, and our paths cross. So uh, this was meant to be working with Robert, working with Ming Na, working with John Favreau again. And it was just a wonderful opportunity and everybody gelled. Everybody worked together so naturally uh, and with a lot of love. And the other unique thing about this whole experience was we came together as a family. There wasn't us as actors, you as crew. Mm -hmm. With the COVID restrictions now, there was no room to go back to your trailer and have a tenty or have a, uh, do any of these other things that sometimes people were well known for. We really had to work hard. And I think we're both mature enough to know about Hollywood and the careers that yeah. we've had. Hey, this is a great opportunity for us. We yeah. can have a, a new leash on now on our on our own personal careers and where we are. But um, and having having this such way cool uh, things, you know, the the outfits, the yeah. the the I know, Star Wars get, you know, yeah. being part yeah. of the family. We get to be badass. Just, like it's and having best. Rodriguez direct us and become a very close friend. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And some of the highlights we were sometimes on the weekend just sharing moments with Robert and we'd have fun, we'd have a train together and we were looking forward to working again on Monday. Let's go. I didn't get invited into that bromance, I'm just saying. Really? You were resting. You, were resting. you needed well-deserved rest after all I need my beauty stuff. sleep, you say? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Moving forward into the series, as we're going to see more and more, I think Boba's been more of a benevolent leader than we've expected so far, but I know Robert has teased that he's going to go full barbarian mode, and your partnership, oh. you maybe may not have been a little reluctant about him being so benevolent. So yeah. how much more are we going to see of that moving forward? And it's also a very different vibe from Mando. Can you describe how much more it's going to set itself apart as we move forward? Oh, that's a tough question. You try to answer that one without giving anything away, Tim. <laughs> well, it's definitely going to get bigger and better, I think. And, mm -hmm. uh, and we explore some of those, uh, those relationship problems that, uh, especially with Boba, he has to find new ways and, and dealing with uh, his confidant and as an advisor now. So uh, we kind of struggle here and there, but and that provides another layer of humor mm -hmm. in a way. So, um, yeah, it was just, uh, well, it just had, you know, we, we wanted to make a action pack full of energy and some fresh, this is fresh storytelling, telling, opening up new areas in the galaxy to explore. So it's just fantastic. I want to ask you, Mingna, about the last moment that we saw uh, you in Mando season two as a fan of Star Wars being on set and shooting with Luke Skywalker, and then with you, Tem, how do you think Boba would react to seeing Luke down the road, if that was the case at this moment? Well, I, I think I think for for me to shoot that scene was really unbelievable. It uh, I love watching the fans' reactions, where they're crying, their jaws dropped, where. There was so much emotion of elation and shock and and happiness. Yes. 
and, uh, and for Mark Hamill himself to feel such a sense of uh, happiness, you know, how his character was received as well, because we all love Luke Skywalker. Um, and now the fans get to experience Boba Fett too. You know, it's, it's, it's such a win-win situation. It's just uh, unpredictable, really. Yeah, unpredictable, some of the stuff you, just when you think you're onto something, uh, they'll throw something else or yeah. some other character comes on in. So uh, I'd love to tell you the deep inner secrets, but uh, I just have to try and keep teasing people. Yeah, 